All right, so I got both ball joints out here. And then I cleaned up the threads, lower and upper one. Took a rag and stuff and went in there with it. Also did a, a wire brush, get the stuff out of the threads. And I put a light coat of um, anises on it too. Um, this one here is the lower. So this one is Moog uh, K7119. And then the upper one is going to be K772. You can tell the difference in the two if you put them next to each other. The actual shank on it's a lot bigger in the lower one. The upper one, same with the threads too. So. I either put a light coat of uh, anises or just a light coat of grease on it just to help installation stuff. It's not going to cause it to fall out. If it does, then that means it was junk to begin with. So it's not going to make it back out. These are going a little, they're a little hard to get lined up. They're a real tight fit too. Um, I know from the other side, it uh, went in really uh, kind of hard, mo more than you would think with regular anything else you'd be threading in. But these are actually supposed to be a really tight fit going all the way in. Um, if they're a loose fit, then basically either the ball joints not the right one because I did have one with an AC Delco one that was it threaded all the way in by hand and here it ended up being the ball joint was machined wrong or made wrong um, and then it just flopped around by hand I got it in there uh, these should go in I think even the instructions say it should take 125 foot pounds of torque to turn them all the way and if it don't then it says replace uh, your control arm so I'll go ahead and get this uh, started and then it's right thread up in there it should like I said it should take a little it should take some resistance to um, get them in there and seat them down so 